Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and good day everyone. I'm Teacher Laili and I'm currently teaching in SMK Datuk Ahmad Mahir. So my lesson today is uh, English Form 3 and the theme is Science and Technology. Uh, the topic is Sports and I will be focusing on the skill speaking. Okay, um, today we are going to learn how to give our opinion and express our agreement as well as our disagreement in a discussion. So we are going to learn to carry out a discussion. So when it comes to speaking, most of you would feel a bit nervous, okay? And this would be the question that would come to your mind. Oh, before I forget, um, you for this lesson, it would be useful if you can find a friend uh, to be your speaking partner and also it would be useful if you could have your textbook close up ready with you okay so if you are all set let's begin right um, these are the questions that you often ask when you try to do speaking tasks our first uh, question is what should I say what should we say Okay, uh, you should think of the ideas and how to try to organize your ideas, right? And then it comes to the question, how to say it? It can be a bit tricky because um, most of us might uh, think in our first language, for example, in Malay, and then try to say something in English. Uh, that could be a bit difficult, right? And last one, which is the scariest of all, what if I make mistakes? So most of you are scared to do the speaking task because you are scared that you make mistake and you might, um, people might laugh at you. So don't worry about it. Uh, as we go along uh, through this lesson, uh, we will try to answer all these questions. So let's start our lesson uh, with this question. What is your favorite sport and why? So if your teacher asks you, what is your favorite sport and why? What would be your answer? Right, I have some uh, examples of uh, sports, uh, common ones like you have rugby, you have soccer or football, you have basketball and also some people like going hiking, you have archery, swimming, tennis, and we have some not so common, but it's becoming popular like boxing or weightlifting. So these are some of the examples of uh, sports that we have. And why do people play sports? Uh, most people play sport because they want to be fit, right? So we all uh, want to be healthy, so we play sports. Okay, and some people play sports because it is fun. Uh, some games are fast-paced, so it's not boring. And some are thrilling. Uh, some people play games because they can meet new people and make new friends. Some who like challenges, who are adventurous, they go for challenging activities. Uh, you also can uh, do sports uh, to learn new skills like dribbling the ball, um, you do sports because it's exciting and for games like football or basketball uh, you can build team spirit because it's played in a team and last but not least um, one of the reason is uh, sports is interesting so I have uh, suggested some of the reasons but of course you can have any other reasons and any other games but for the purpose of this lesson I hope we just stick to physical sports and not the virtual sports uh, video games okay ah, now you have come uh, to this part where you can test your vocabulary skills I have here uh, the QR code for uh, vocabulary uh, skills so you have extra exercise you can scan uh, the QR code to test whether you are good in uh, vocabulary and these are all the names of sports and you can you should guess 
uh, the name of the sports based on the description. So for, for this exercise, scan the QR code or you can just copy the link uh, written below. Okay, so I'm giving you about three minutes to answer the question. Okay, I hope you guys call um, high marks for the test just now. Okay, uh, now we are going back to the question uh, we asked earlier on. That is, what is your favorite sport? And you might have the ideas because I have already shared with you just now all the sports are the common ones and I have also shared with you some of the possible reasons that you can use okay so I'm now sharing with you how you can organize all the ideas that you have okay uh, and you will it will be easy to remember the acronym because it's Oreo as you can see in the picture so O stands for opinion. Okay, you give your opinion. Okay, you tell people what you think. And then R stands for reason. You should give the reason for your opinion. Why you choose the certain spot. And E for elaboration. You should tell people more about your reason. Okay, so elaboration. How do you elaborate? You can explain, you can give explanation, or you can even give example to make it clearer. And last but not least, we go back to O, which is opinion. Uh, don't forget to restate your opinion. You have to tell people again what your opinion is. So you have Oreo. Okay, let's try to apply Oreo to the question just now. What is your favorite sport? And let's say I have chosen, uh, like you see, basketball. So my opinion is basketball. My favorite game is basketball. And the reason, I give the reason, I've chosen the reason, exciting. So I like playing basketball because it is exciting. And you can elaborate by explaining what exciting. Why do you think it is exciting? So you can say that basketball is a fast-paced game. So you will not feel bored. People are playing very fast on the court. And they score goals quite fast too. So that's why you find it interesting. And basketball is a team sport. So you have to collaborate, you have to work together with the team member in order to win. And lastly, uh, the rules for this game is simple. So you don't have to uh, remember complicated things. So it's easy, it's straightforward, easy to understand. So that's why I think playing basketball is exciting. And don't forget to say the, your opinion again. Okay, so in, in my opinion or because of the reasons that I've given above, I love basketball. Okay. Right. Uh, now I've come to, I've, I will try to help you answer your question, how to say something. So this one are some of the suggested expressions that you can use if you want to say, if you want to give your opinion. So you can say, I think. I think basketball is a good idea because it is exciting. Or you can also say, in my opinion, playing basketball is good because, okay, and give your reason. Or if your friend asks for your suggestion, you can say, I suggest you play basketball because it is exciting. So these are the three expressions that you can use to give your opinion. In a discussion, you don't just give your opinion. You also have to ask people whether they agree or disagree with you. You also have to ask people what is their opinion. Okay. So you can say if you want to ask people how uh, to whether they agree with you or not, 
you can ask, you can use this. You can say, do you agree with me? Or you can say, would you agree that basketball is a good game? Or you can say, do you think so? These are some of the sentences, the expressions that you can use when you want to ask people for their agreement. And of course, when people ask you for agreement, you can agree with them. You can say, I agree. I totally agree with you. If you don't totally agree, you quite agree with the person. You can say, I quite agree with you. Or you can say, I think you are absolutely right. And of course, you can also disagree. Uh, but it can be done, it has to be done politely if you disagree with the person. So you can say, actually, I don't really agree. Or you can say, I'm afraid I don't agree with you. And another way to say you disagree, you can say, I don't think that's a very good idea because um, playing, food, playing basketball is quite challenging, for example. So those are some of the ways how you, to, how you can say things. Okay, how you can express your agreement, how you can express disagreement in a discussion. So that is what the discussion is made of. You can, you have to give your opinion, you can agree, you can disagree, okay, uh, then that's a discussion. Okay. Uh, now, let's try to do the exam task. This one I've taken from your textbook, page 75. Let's try to do this together. A friend of yours wants to take up a new sport to get fit and meet new people. But she hasn't got much time. Talk together about the different activities she could do. So you have these activities, going to the gym, hiking, playing football, running and kayaking. Okay, and at the end of the discussion, you are supposed to decide which spot is the best. So, now what you have to do is, you have to get your friend, okay, a friend, uh, to do the task with you. And both of you can choose more than one spot. You can do any of these spots. You can do two of the spots. Give your opinion. And remember, you have to ask for uh, your friend agreement and disagreement so that in the end of the discussion, you would be able to decide which one is the best. Okay, I can help you with uh, giving opinion. Let's say you choose football or soccer, playing football. So remember the audio? Okay, so first... Um, you have to give your opinion, so you can tell your friend, I think playing football is a good idea. So that's your opinion. And you give reason, not reason, reasons here. Uh, it is because um, playing football will make you healthy. And it is also a fun game. Remember just now, in the situation, uh, your friend is trying to get fit, right? So you are looking for a healthy activity. So now we are going to elaborate. For elaboration, you can first say about healthy. You can say, playing football helps us to stay healthy. A football is a form of exercise. When you play football, uh, you sweat and you get rid of all the toxic in your body. So that will make you healthy. And football is also a team sport. Uh, it will be fun playing in a team. You have to cooperate with others to achieve your goal, to get the goal and to win the game. And also, it is fun because you can make new friends. A football team consists of 11 people, right? And at one a time, there will be like 22 people on the field. Imagine getting to know all the people. Then you will make new friends. That's why the game is fun. And lastly, don't forget to restate your opinion. You can say things like, uh, because of all the reasons given, I like playing football or I suggest. 
you play football. Okay, I hope that's clear to you. Okay, now uh, what you have to do, I'm giving you five minutes to carry out the discussion with your friend. Remember, you have to come up with the best spot. Okay, so the best you have to decide. So now uh, you have to discuss with your friend for five minutes. Okay, I have come to the last question that we asked earlier in the um, in this lesson. What if I make mistake? Okay, uh, there are lots of ways to um, overcome this problem actually, but I'm suggesting three ways. One is uh, you should use try to use simple language, meaning. Use simple words and simple sentence structure. Uh, remember, your main goal is to get your message across clearly so that people will understand you. So you don't have to look for bombastic words or complicated stru sentence structures to express yourself. Just stick to the simple ones and that will help you and also will help others who are listening to you. As then it will also help you to avoid making any mistake. And what if you mispronounce a word? Hmm. Or what if you say something and then you realize that it is wrong? Don't worry because what you have to do, don't get don't panic because what you have to do is just you have to repeat, you have to say it again, but this time say it correctly. So if you mispronounce a word, uh, just Say the word correctly again. And last but not least, practice makes perfect. You have to practice. In order to be fluent in English, you have to, be, to speak in English. Make it a point to yourself to use English, to speak in English at least 10 or 15 minutes a day. Find a friend or a family member to talk with you, to, to speak with you, sorry. And also, most importantly, make full use of your English lesson. Speak English throughout the English lesson. And just ignore people who laugh at you. Okay? So I hope those tips will help you and make you feel less nervous when you have to speak. Okay, uh, to conclude, um, to recap, uh, what I have done earlier in this lesson, uh, I have answered the question, what should I say? Okay. So when you get a, question, a speaking task, think of the ideas and try to organize the ideas using the method that I taught you just now, that is Oreo. Try to organize your uh, thoughts. Okay. And then how to say it? I have already given you some expressions that would be useful to carry out a discussion. And what if I make mistake? I have also given you some tips on that. So I hope it will give you more confidence to speak later. Before I end the lesson, I would leave you uh, with this question for further activities. Okay. Uh, this is actually taken from Idea Focus in your textbook. Uh, you have to discuss this statement. A healthy body means a healthy mind. Do you agree? Okay, give your reason. That is why. Why do you agree or why not? So for this further activity, you can do it with your friend and also with your teacher in the class. Okay, we have come to the end of the lesson. I uh, hope that you have learned something from this lesson. Thank you for joining me and all the best to you. Um, thank you. Assalamualaikum.